Hang on to my t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know what like that is. <laughs> And I took her for a drink on Tuesday <laughs> Something something about the rest of the week Is it too late to say copyright for that? Um, I only did like five seconds, so hopefully not That's fair enough yeah. Never mind. Can I get a rewind? <laughs> Craig David How's it going my friends? My name is Gezer and welcome back to another video Today we have a very special treat We are going live on the radio what? Going on with the one and only Mr. Pete Rogers on his show Home is where the art is is not exactly sure what we're going to be talking about i will say as well i apologize for the echo it's the only place i can get to where there's not that many people around but i am so psyched of going on the radio especially with the one and only mr pete rogers and the one and only miss julia so without further ado let's get straight into the radio booth so i'm guessing i'm sitting right here oh my goodness me yo 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 that is exactly us Callan fm 105 fm yo Music. I'm Pete Rogers, man. This is Home is Where the Art is, your guide to arts and innovation in your local area. So, I'm here as always with co host and captain Julia Pence. Hello. Hello. And um, we have a special guest star who I'm going to amount, announce, not a mouse. I don't want to do it because I like the fact that Julia can't pronounce his name. So, I think it's going to be really, really fun. So, <laughs> I'm going to throw over to co host for a minute. Uh, who we got in the studio with us today? We have. Come on. G. <laughs> oh, that's such a cop out. We have the amazing. Yes, I like it. Gary Parry. You're goddamn right. Oh, how did she do? How did she do? She was right? very close. Uh, very <laughs> close. Closer than she's ever been. Yeah, what, what, was she yeah. what was she previously calling you? Because your name, we should point out for those who didn't understand what Julia just did. It was so like, we've got Geraint Perry. It's what's she's up? Been. What's Julia's issues been with your name, man? What did she start calling you? It was originally? like. Garant, wasn't it? Yeah, Garant. Garant. It was Garant. Then a unique one. It was either it was either Julia or it was Connor who was saying like, "Can I just call you Jerry?" <laughs> <laughs> You've gone from Garant to Jerry. <laughs> so Garant, thank you very much for joining us today. No by problem, the way. man. Thank you uh, very much. Really for excited to get you in by yourself for a long time now. So I'm Woo! glad that we've got you here. I'm gonna try and sum up you in few words. It's difficult. Choose very carefully, my friend. Geraint, for those who don't know, is he's a filmmaker, a vlogger, a performer, a photographer, a writer, a poet, an editor, now a uni student, just to make life harder for yourself. Uh, am I missing anything? I, don't, I think that pretty much covers everything, okay. really. <laughs> so I guess when you've got a massive list of things like that, that you now do as both careers, both as hobbies, you know, different things that you're expressing yourself through. I guess the first place is like, which of those came first of you? Oh. First for you as a passion? Um, <clears throat> I would say the first one was photography. And, okay, I've, wow. and through that, I managed to branch out into many different things in videography, vlogging. A few inches later. Hey, sweet, I like it. Okay, we'll be back soon. This is Jason Moraz with Geek in the Pink. <laughs> Damn, sweaty my throat. Oh my God. That was brilliant. As soon as I came on air, man. <laughs> trying, trying to, like, making Different. sure you don't sweat. I'm like, oh my God, right, don't sweat, don't sweat, oh, don't man, sweat. It's been so tense. I'm so bad at swearing. Oh my, mate, I think I'm worse, to be honest. I don't know. What's this now? Oh, God's sake. Have you got oh, no, 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 no. My, uh, my mate Danny. He just, uh, just messaged me that and he was saying, you've got a new name. I was like, what? <coughs> On my WhatsApp to him. And he, it says, Jerry Perry. Jerry Perry. Amazing. A few moments later. Fun fact as well, uh, YouTube actually originally was intended to be a dating website. No way. Really? Yeah, yeah. It used to, it wow. was, it, that was the original intention. But then the, uh, the three creators decided, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll just make this into a platform where people can upload uh, home videos and then they can share it with their loved ones and then it's just blown up from there. How really. was it gonna work as a dating site? I I'm have, intrigued. I have no idea. I think it was a case like you could just make a video about yourself saying this is who I am, blah blah and then you just upload it and then anyone can wow. watch it really. Almost like a video tinder. I would think so, yeah, yeah. If I'm correct in this, which I think I am, you had a YouTube channel, took it down, or stopped using content. It's not the same one you have now. It's not the same one I have now. And then you went back on. So that first one, what was it that you were like, I want to do it now? The original 
my original channel. It's still there, but I've renamed it. Ah, um, secret channel. Yeah, yeah. It's um. Well, in fact, it's actually you can still find it now. Uh, like my my YouTube now my YouTube yeah, bleh, 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 bleh. my YouTube channel name now is Geza, which is my nickname. Yes. Um, and my second channel, which is the original, is called uh, Geza Plays. Ah, I and, see, okay. and to be honest, the concept of that channel has never really changed. It originally was meant to be just like a gaming channel. Okay. Because at the time, I made that channel in 2011. And I always and I, I really got into the whole gaming channels, gaming videos, yeah. and I wanted to be a part of that. And it was like, it seemed well, that's really what got great you fun. Into it, yeah, so. Exactly, vlogging is not for everyone. And like I would say is I'm not a person who could do daily vlogging like like YouTubers like Casey Neistat or uh, like Joey Cosepa or something. Yeah, exactly. Or even uh, this other guy called Mars Bars, uh, aka Alex. He's got a great name. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, he. Honestly, Alex, he's a really good guy. I really enjoy his vlogs. The way his editing techniques, his creativity oh, is just... the life of vlogs, yeah. Yeah, and he's been doing it for over a year and a half now. And his creativity, his camera shots, the, like, what he does with his vlogs are insane. And uh, fun fact with that as well, he's actually the exact same age as me. We were born on the same day of the same year. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was meant to be. Exactly. <laughs> In a way, he's like my YouTube twin. Yeah. Aww. That could make a creepy horror film. <laughs> you went in straight away after your first video of like, what I thought was, it, it was an intriguing, because it was a brave move. You went straight in with a sort of really personal video mm. where you opened up to whoever was watching basically about like your struggles with OCD. Yeah. Um, what made you want to put something out that was so personal? I just, I was in the mood of just making a video about it. I just wanted okay. to create more awareness of it, really. And at the time when I was making that video, my OCD was very bad. I've always had OCD, and mm -hmm. like obviously, like I wouldn't say unfortunately because there's no cure for it. The only way you can try it is like to control. It's like to control it. You're like the Hulk, man. You're always angry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With my OCD, it was a case of I was getting negative thoughts all the time, mm -hmm. worrying about this, worrying about that. I'm not going to say what exactly is it. Went to like a personal level. No, but you you opened up to the internet though in the sense that like it was a difficult struggle you kind of yeah you put to bed some rumors about what it was yeah was that a difficult video to then put out though like did you sort of film it and then go be like oh man i'm not sure if i want to put this out it will not really no it's like no. at the time i was like i want to make this video and i do want to release it my mum, i did even show it to my mum, and she was even asking me are you sure you want to put something like that yeah, out because yeah, it's very personal <clears throat> i was like i understand that and like, i understand like there's going to be like people trolling and all that but i was like i don't care if people yeah, troll. Man. like i all i care about is like i want to make this video <clears throat> i want to put it out there and also the benefits with that is if people actually watch it and if the right people watch it it's going to create more awareness for it yeah man. And, well, i know the first comment you got was someone who also suffered with ocd I believe, yeah right? so she was kind of like oh i'm glad someone's talking about it in this yeah, way exactly like when i when i got that comment um i was really it really it touched my heart. It did, mm. and I was like that. I think I've managed to reach it to to one person, and that's worth it. Let's finish off. So we were talking. Let's finish off the vlogging part. No, we're not finished the show. We're just gonna try and wrap. I was it. actually looking at the clock. I was like, what? Nah, man, I'm trying to parcel stuff up. <laughs> um, you actually made a documentary about YouTube. Yeah. Uh, called Content Creators. Yeah. Um, you and Julia were both mental because you both decided to make documentaries, produce them, direct them, write them, edit them all by yourselves. Really? The only way to go. Um, <laughs> what kind of, obviously your documentary, for people who don't know, it kind of was looking at, in fact, let's just, let's just show people what it was. Let's just, Ooh. let's see if we can get a clip. Hold on. We're going to try something. Make sure there's no swearing. So whilst Pete's doing that, I have another question for you. Yeah. Okay. You mentioned before about trolls. And have you yeah. had, like, many trolls on your YouTube channel? Not really. Surprisingly, I've been on YouTube coming two years now, in, uh, in the end of September. And I haven't really in, engaged with any with any trolls. Like, I, I don't think any trolls have come to my channel. But there is... I do remember there was if any one. trolls are listening. Yeah, <laughs> do not <laughs> stay away. Um, but there was there was what there was one. Um, like, do you remember my vlog when we went to Media City? And yes, I, I do. Tour? I remember. There was this what I think it was a kid, and they I think they just immediately deleted an attention this, seeker. Yeah, exactly. I think they just friends. I think they chickened out and they just put a comment down, and then they. 
deleted it, so it wasn't appearing on the video. But right. they forgot that I get emails to say I got this yeah, uh, yeah, comment. Of course, so you can follow their page profile. Exactly, right? and I I was looking at it and they were saying, oh, that looks terrible, or blah blah, or saying like you're crap. I'm like, it doesn't affect me, mate. It's like even like even if I get like a dislike on a video, I'm like. So what? Like, it's either someone who doesn't like the video. They what they can do is they can put like a little uh, feedback of what's saying you can improve on this, yeah, and then yeah, I take right. that 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 I'll take Get that criticism. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'd like to. T I always take constructive criticism all the time. I take that very professionally, and I always try and put that into my future projects, my future videos. If yeah. it's just someone just disliking it, just for like to bring me down I'm like it doesn't affect me mate like right. do something do do me do yourself a favor and do something go worthwhile in your life instead it's of wasting just, your time I'm not sure what they're getting out of it personally exactly it's like, like a disembodied comment that you can't then engage with face to face it's a strange thing um people have too much time in their hands exactly. I guess. I'm getting I'm getting the last laugh at the end of the day because I'm not wasting my time <laughs> with it. later that same evening so we go radio is now wow. done yes yes yes, 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 yes. Gets a P in the house. Woo! And Julia. Yeah. J yeah. Yeah, boy. Yo, man, it's been Pete Rogers. Who look at my proxy? Gets <laughs> a Harry. Woo! Uh, check out Home is Where the Art is on Facebook. Catch up link will be on callanfm.com tomorrow morning. Woo! Gezza on YouTube for the vlog. And just enjoy your lives, man. <laughs> I'll put a link to the I'll put a link to the full radio show in the description below if you want to check out like film uh, oh, action. Don't feel free to actually check it out. Yeah, it was a great it. show. Do I absolutely loved it. Yes, thank you. Until next time, people. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Teenagers Rage. <laughs> Pete and Julia's uh, links will be in the description below as well. Oh. Make sure to go and follow them too. That's nice. Oh, no, today was absolutely you know, brilliant. Thank you very show. much. No, thank I've, you. I've had a great time. It was a pleasure. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <noise? laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I meant to, I meant to do peace. I wasn't swearing oh. to you guys. Sorry, I meant it that way, not that way. I... <laughs> you doing it? Were you doing Winston Churchill's style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going victory, victory. Or you'll fight them on the lands, on the radio. <laughs> <laughs>